We have, for those that don't know, I'm residing, live here in Baltimore. Goddamn right. We have this thing coming up. I think it's in August, and I don't even want to butcher the date. Called a ceasefire. It's calling for nobody to get shot they wait, that day. They wait until yeah. August for that shit? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Take, take some time to get all these guns off the street. Okay. And somebody was asking me, like, yo, man, um, what do you think the pros and cons is? Don't you think it's a good idea? Matter of fact, let me see this right here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, pass these off. Pass those around. Yeah. Yes, we have the Baltimore ceasefire. This shit says, first, I hope it goes down. But this shit really has a flyer that says nobody kill anybody between August fourth, two thousand seventeen. Just kept it all the way real and just put nobody kill nobody. This shit ain't nobody kill nobody. Seventeen. I think this shit is gonna be a super failure, and um, and I hate to talk so against it that way, wow. but Candidly. I can't take this serious because this shit looks like the flyer for a party for one. Number two. True. Who's leading it up? I know Diamond knows. Who's Thank leading up the Thanks, season? Diamond. Come on. Damn, what you had warned me about that you were going to go here. <laughs> um, so they, they have an organization. Uh, well, correction. It's not an organization. It's a, it's a, it's a group of concerned citizens yeah. that, that organized it. Uh, so they've been here and talked on two shows, and I can definitely connect you with them if you want to. Uh, they, they have a good message behind it and i think if you spoke with them you would feel differently about uh their motivation for it so are they uh blm in any way affiliated no, at all no it's just baltimore ceasefire yeah Ceasfire. so it's 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 a, like i said it's a group of concerned citizens that's been affected uh, different ways by um gun violence and death and and that whole thing as we all probably have in uh -huh. some capacity but the reason why they put the the date off is they really wanted to take time and get people to know Make and sure they want to take time that, okay. that, you know, so people can be aware of it and, and maybe think about it. Uh, the re reason why the flyer is designed that way is to get the attention of people that probably need to be uh, involved, yeah. uh, you know, that in, um, in order informed, to speak to niggas, rather. you got to put it in niggas' yeah, language. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, it's a party. Psych, don't kill nobody. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I thought this was a party. Yeah, I got nigga, kill nobody. On the and, the other, and the other thing, the kill other the thing is, the is that I don't think that it could be a failure. I don't think there's any way that it could be a kill failure. Unless right. somebody gets killed. No, somebody. even if somebody, and they talk about that, even if somebody gets killed, um, the fact that there was this organized message and, and maybe the next time you know it, it doesn't happen it's, it's always a possibility that it happens some new york nigga can come through here and do it anything can happen we don't, we don't out know. of town shooters oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Shooters out of town. we don't come down here and do that shit no more <laughs> no more you know in the 90s they did no more. he did in the 90s different time different time different time and why do you think why do why would you think a ceasefire would be a bad idea because you know where they got this from a fucking hater barbershop Exactly. Exactly. That was my whole thing. No, it was, but that, that was a good thing. Out. So they that in It wasn't. But Ice Cube's. It wasn't a failure. Yes, the dude that swept up the floor got killed. Right? We saw it. The guy swept yes. up the floor. Sergeant got Nathaner got killed, or the African dude? No, not like Tony Romo. The light skinned dude, light skinned kid. Michael Ealy got killed in that movie? No, no, no not, he was just a kid. Extra. He was just extra, right? Hold on, wait, time out. This was like, what is this? Barbershop Three or some shit? Yeah. One Nicki Minaj. Oh, you know what? I never saw Three. Yeah, I Nicki mean, Minaj is in that one. Nicki Minaj in Three? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, wait. Is Eve still in it? Yeah. How did they coexist? They did. They were. Nicki was ready to whip that ass. She beat her ass. She was getting whipped her ass. How y'all? I know who's going to win the fight because, but according to the Nicky's movie, got the, got the mic, Eve was the mic going to whoop Eve got the, Eve got the, the, the Nicky was running. Yeah, that's only, but when somebody is up with their back against the walls, when they're most dangerous. Oh wait, time out. You know what so, I'm talking about? That that's another one of those useless sayings too. <laughs> back against the wall, ain't no telling what you're going to do. It's rope a dope, it's rope a dope style. Saying, man. People be like, yo, I'm saying, I don't normally start trouble when my back gets the wall. You <laughs> like, get your ass whipped against yo, the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your back, they be saying that when they back against the wall. You know why people's back against the wall? Because they backing down. Like, and you look like, nigga, the wall is five blocks down. You're right. just backing up into the wall. Well, when my I back hit this wall, when it hit, when it hit the wall, there's going to be trouble for you. It's going to be yeah. trouble. <laughs> Well, run this way first. So let me just whip your ass before you get to that wall. Cause I don't, nah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> so you put me in the corner now. Don't so you put me in the corner? Like, Told told you might fuck me up, but you put me in the corner. Y'all don't understand. Okay, this is this is not a useless saying. 
This is a re- let, let me read this to you. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read this to y'all. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. What are you trying to do? I'm trying what not to lose my head. <laughs> Okay. It's like, it's a, like a jungle sometimes to make you wait. Why are you going? You gotta say that faster than that. Slow down. Speed that shit up. But you hear the eloquence of how he also was like a child. A child is born without a state of mind, blind to the facts of mankind. That's lyrics. That's lyrics. How was that, that, bars, how lyrics. Was that any different from Out of Space Kid Cuddy? Who? Yes, it's Quavo. So <laughs> it's the second verse of Bad and Bougie. Yeah. Sounds just like that to me. Just as powerful. Does it you know, One was called The Message, the other one, Bad and Bougie. First of all, I think, think they spelled bougie wrong. If that's even yeah, they that's did. They spelled that shit wrong. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was. But they meant to do that. They did. No, they didn't. That's right. how that shit was printed. I think that's really how they spelled that shit phonetically. That's how they say it. Yeah. Hey. That's how they say it. That accent. But mm-hmm. hopefully the ceasefire goes cool. Hope nobody. See, the thing is, I don't. I just don't. I don't want to cheapen it. And somebody be like, you know what? You see somebody be like, you know what? I'm going to chill. On the sixth, the seventh class is dead. So, so you did, nigga. Yeah. And some people said that, and unfortunately, that may happen. That that may happen. But that's a but win. I, I think. I think to me, just no. talking about it is is a win. But it was almost a ceasefire yesterday at the basketball courts. I had to jump in between, literally. Where? Jump in between. That ass. I'll tell you about it later. But All right, cool. Shit, she was real, and I'm looking like I had to talk to this young man. He's like, "Yo, man, you 24, man. I'm 40. See, this is my but thing. You live, when son. you get younger dudes, you, you get younger dudes." You gotta give them that respect, but you still kinda gotta, if you're older, especially if you're considerably older, you still gotta kinda talk to them like, yo, shorty, I, yo, you, you just starting to do this. You just starting to get outside. He was so, basically, long so short, I'm not gonna get into names. He had a gun. You better not. He's got a gun. You don't talk no, about his name. Oh, okay. He got pulled gun. out on. Oh. And the thing about it is. And you turn to talk to a nigga who got pulled out. No, 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay, man. <laughs> I was sitting in my car. Uh-huh. I had next. So the game was going on, and it's so crazy. All I kept thinking of, I really wasn't even going to play yesterday. And, it's, and then I started thinking to myself after the situation. No, but I said, every time some shit happened, it was always some shit I was not about to do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, I was up at the courts. Two games went by. People came asking me, "Yo, you going to play?" I was like, "Nah, I'm chilling today." I ate three slices. I was chilling. But then, you know, I'm sitting there for like four. Guess with pizza. I yes, guess that's some New York shit. You know, want slices of what? Nigga, like, pie. <laughs> Bread. I was confused as <laughs> shit. The three slices. What the fuck? You drinking soda? What's what's you you <laughs> that's cool. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's cool. I'm sorry. Goddamn New York. I'm glad. I mean, I did. Come to Baltimore. You speak a language. <laughs> for the rest of you, fuck. <laughs> for the rest of you, fuck. Goddamn foreigners. Fucks. <laughs> three slices. The what? Never see so many backwards country fucks in my life. But anyway. Yeah, three slices of pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meat boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my New York accent. So anyway. <laughs> Hey. All right, so let me clean up. All right, go ahead, so boom. All right, boom. That's it. <laughs> All right, so boom. You been saying, 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 saying right? this whole time. So I told him, so B. I told him, B. I bet. I bet. So I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> we about to go play. So I said, All right, let me go get some gum, whatever. La, 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 la. So I go in the car. No, I go in the car. I'm looking at my phone. <laughs> I feel, I hear, as I'm in my car, somebody just hits the back of my truck. So I'm really like, Who the fuck is that? So my man, he comes up. He's like, Yo. Come me down here, niggas is fronting. So now, mind you, I know at least 90% of the people that's down there. So I'm like, who the hell? In my mind, I'm like, who could it be? So he goes in his trunk, grabs his sidearm. I, I saw he grab somebody, look. So as we walking, then I looked down. I said, okay, he got somebody tucked it. So as we're walking down the hill, about to walk down the hill, one of the, the dude that he actually had a problem with was walking up the hill. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um... I'm going to walk past him because that kid just came to the park because he just asked me who got next. I was like, nah, you on? Go ahead. So he was like, is this nigga right here? So I'm like, what did he do? So then, long story short, gun was out. Nothing happened. I get in between. I got my arm around the dude. Like, yo, just, just walk away, such and such. This kid is 24 years old. So you know what he's on. So when the, so when the guy leaves, my man leaves. Yo, he managed to kill me. Mm-hmm. I'm like... All right, so now I'm sitting up there talking to him for about 25 minutes. He straight tells me, he's like, look here, OG, you ain't have to do with it. I ain't hear none of that shit. He should have did X, Y, Z. So I see that talking to him that way wasn't it's going to work. Right. So what I said was this. I said, you know what? He was wrong. What I can tell you is this. 
Right now, you're moving off emotions. What I mean by that is this. You want your get back? Fine. You, let's just say you get your get back. That's cool. It's not over now. Somebody's going to jail. There's more retaliation. All for something that can be avoided. If I'm giving you my word saying, yo, look here, it's not going to be anything, blah, blah, blah. And you can kind of see his face lighten up a little bit. Because I, I started hitting him with the, yo, fine, go ahead. You tough. You want to do your thing? Go ahead. It's okay. Because he kept having this whole pride thing of, yo, where I'm from, you can't do that. Yo, where I'm from. He said that about seven times. Where I'm from. Until I eventually was like, all right, I know where you're from. You right. Right, right, right. I know where we you're from. We figured this out. Yeah, we know. I was like this. And I was no like, guns. No guns. And I guess this whole me joking with the Houston saying thing because he said about three times, he should have killed me. I said, you know what? I know about 20 people in this town. That would have gave you exactly what you asked for yeah. had they done it. So don't give me this whole, you should have killed me. That shit just sounds like Thank you, lucky stars, man. Yeah. I was like, yo, you're not the first person to get a gun pulled out on them. You ain't going to be the last person. I'm like, yo, we all know somebody has had a gun pulled out on them. And nothing came of it. Because I was like, yo, there's less people look at things for that moment. I was like, yo, don't let your emotions for the moment cause you to do some shit that you walked away from now and... We're telling you, because it was all of those things. We was like, yo, we got that. Nothing's going to happen because we know he's wrong. We're going to talk to him. You see what I'm saying? We're giving you our word, but you know, he don't really know us like that, but he knew enough of us. And then he kind of was like, you know what, OG? Fine, such and such. So I think that's what made me start thinking of this ceasefire thing, too, or whatever, because I'm looking like, yo, he's 24. I had to talk. I couldn't talk to him on a super adult level. I was like, you got any kids? No. I said, think about you came to the park today to play ball. That's it. I said, you didn't come to be the victim. You didn't come to be the aggressor afterwards. I said, yo, your life can change that fast. Then he kind of was just like, you know what? That's just what it was. But I wish more of the kids would listen to stuff like that because we living in like troubled times. Like, yo, these kids is just doing whatever. And no fear, they, no they're shame. Faking, no, they're faking that we don't care about consequences. <clears throat> Because there's a whole lot of people dealing with consequences right over there or in Guilford or whatever, Jessup and everything like hey, that. Tears in the and they're sitting there thinking, think about just us here. I, I'm assuming nobody ever, we're not criminals. But we all did some shit that we was like, damn it. If I'd have thought, I didn't even have to do that. I didn't even have to react this way. Whether it's, we talk about light level, just an argument. Or right. just saying the wrong thing to somebody. you like, I didn't even have to go there. Stuff like that. And think about the consequence that came with that, it might have been you might have lost a friend. You know what I'm saying? You might have. Now, you do certain things, you make yourself look a certain way just to people in general. Like, hey, this is who you are? You see what I'm Like, one of my funniest lines that I hate when I hear people say, somebody fighting somebody, you are waiting for this. I knew this was coming. We've been hanging out for 15 years. You've been waiting, 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 waiting to fight me, right? You've been waiting all your life to fight me? You've been living a lie. You've been living a lie. I didn't know it was that serious. Like, shit. Like, we could have been got this out of the system back then. But, like I said, that's that's what led me into the whole ceasefire thing. But the thing I want to ask this lady right here, Miss Violet. Yes. <clears throat> I had this whole thing in my mind, and I brought it up before. I got this theory that bigger women are more promiscuous than smaller women. Do you agree with that? Fuck yeah! <laughs> I uh, d uh, hear me out. Hell hear yeah, me out. You hear out. me out. Hear me out. Because <laughs> I love you, baby. Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 Um, the reason why I, I do think that is because you know. We got a little bit of meat in our bones, so I feel like with that, there, there could be a lot of opportunities that can happen with that. I feel like, you know, with skinny girls, I feel like they might be too tired. They might get hungry after maybe 15 minutes. No, 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 no
this dude and want to do it. Oh, she's about to put all her tricks. She's going to pull every little thing that she can out on the table to, to get what she want. While for a like, senior girl, it's like, oh, you know, I can get this, that, and the third. Easy come, easy go. I think it's just a little bit more difficult. For more a, passionate. Right, for yeah, a bigger right. girl. And so I just felt like in that sense, you know, just showing like, oh, I got this and all that, and, you know, with the moves. So that's just, you know, my opinion. Some people might be thinking differently, but I really truly believe that, you know, for a bigger girl, she's going to be putting everything on that plate. She appreciates it more. Yes. And she's going to cook afterwards. She is going to give you everything. That's the thing. I think a lot of women give too much too early. Like, don't be. Damn. I, I actually, I'm agree with you. On I that wish one. I was messy because I would be like this. I'd be just going down my timeline and stuff, <laughs> and I just be like, no, nah, I'm just be saying. I get it. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna, for guys, my thing is this: if you're gonna be playing this play role, go ahead. We know the double standard. Mm -hmm. But I don't see a few of my female friends in my timeline. I'm looking like, wait a minute, didn't you just have a boyfriend and now you have another boyfriend? Like, yeah, I what see is this a woman too. just getting like continuous boyfriends back to back to back? To back? <laughs> like, I don't. Like you love him too? No way. Oh, you you love have, him too? I don't believe no, you should have more than that, two boyfriends it? in one year. I really want to say one, but I'm gonna give it two. I'm gonna give it two. six months. Six months. Okay. Why? What, what, what are y'all talking about right now? I'm talking about. I'm well, I'm Diamond. Talking about, I mean, say, 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 right. say that y'all break up. Like, like, okay, a year, like a whole year, like anything can happen in a year. You could date somebody, y'all dating, shit ain't work out. So now you like you reached your data quota for this year. Hell Come yeah. back 2018. You no. can have, you can have a because friend. you don't because you but that's a but that's no a boy's friend. A friend is boyfriend. This no. is what it is. No, it ain't. No. If you go out more than three dates with somebody cons consistently, don't do that. You can be considered a boyfriend exclusively. There's a difference in exclusivity. Then she's a hoe. I don't think she's a hoe. Then she's a. I mean, by society's definitions, so the that's why she get. chill with one person. Exactly. This is the problem. I blame the guys in that respect because women. They're gonna, for the most part, want to be in relationships. I can get that right. part. Right. I blame the guys. These imaginary players. And like you just said, <coughs> you just said, players. if he goes on three dates with that same woman, what are you doing going out with the same chick on three dates? Cause I like her. She all right? Now we ain't going out on no three dates though. Because oh, listen, first date. So first date, date, nothing happens, right? So first date, nothing happens, right? Uh -huh. Second date, you come to the house, but the kid's home. So now you need a third date. Hey, go back. Yeah, or wherever, or wherever yeah. you go. She whatever it is. The the guy's mission, as we know, no father. is to is, is to close the deal. Sometimes it might take three days to close the deal. Sometimes it might take one. It just depends. It just depends. And your play days, honey, I was like the ring, baby. You got seven days. You got seven days to give it up. Well, I got to move on. No, well, see, I, I wasn't. That wasn't that. There no. no rule. It was no. just case by case. Yeah, mine is absolutely case by case. Case by case. They all you know case what I mean? Case. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's day one. Sometimes it's day thirty-one. It just depends. That's true. I may not see it consistently. That's Slow true. Game. Go for that. Long game. Because quality, your quality long stuff, you got, you have to make an investment yeah, in that. Long game. Long game. You know what I'm saying? But some stuff, you might just fast food. It is, sometimes it's quality. So this it's is a snack. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Come on what now. You, what you know about this boy? He never have a snack a day in his life. Because he's man. a constant. He's a constant dater. He's one of the ones. He's I'm a serial about. dater. Serial dater. Serial boyfriend. Man, listen. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. I'm <laughs> a quality <laughs> guy who likes a relationship. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with that. You're, yes. He yeah. sounds like bachelor number one. What are we gonna say? You here? Come on, real quick. He Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this boy loves relationships. There's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Nothing wrong, man. Okay. It's nothing wrong. Before you know. Before you like have someone meet someone, you gotta yes, you gotta you know date to find you know that perfect person. Let's let's say you find someone after the first day, he's like, oh, this person is actually really cool. Let me get to know them a little bit better than mm. before I do anything else. You know, and then after like you know second one, so like, okay, this this person's cool. Maybe the third one, I'm gonna try and get you know into the pants a little bit. So you know yes. that's where it comes the whole of the, the whole three thing. What is the, that's something that I just don't understand. What is this whole thing about the whole hit it and quit? What, what is that? Who said you gotta quit it? So you just so you so you expecting for the first date to hit it? Me yes, but that what I'm just saying. I, I'm just. <laughs> At least you're honest. No, this is my thing. Like this. So what if it, you don't hit it? Oh, the next time I see you, and it, so the something starts. It's something wrong with her. Uh, something wrong with her. Yeah. Yes. Sure. So she yeah, has seven yeah. days, or else you move on. <laughs> you have seven days to recognize my greatness. <laughs> I'm out of here. 
<laughs> Your loss. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to. My whole theory is this: if a female can tell, what, what did they say? The first, what was it? Seconds or those, a minute? Those, those three out. First five seconds. First five seconds. Oh, shit, for real. If you know in the first five seconds, my five, five seconds game together, baby. What the hell we waiting for? Right. You don't. Let me get to know you. Let me let me understand what you say. Time for some action. So that way, if I'm not gonna just waste my time just giving up to someone, like if I'm gonna give it up to you, we together. Like that's just how it's supposed to be. We go together. You don't know that. And for free. (laughs) For free. (laughs) (laughs) So we together. We together. (laughs) I had a female tell me that shit before too. She was like, "Yo, we doing the boyfriend and girlfriend." I was like, "No doubt." (laughs) So that was it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> and now we're not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Just gonna like, okay, no so doubt. One, two, three, not it. Not it. Not it. But I'm just saying, now nah, it ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's just like, yo, you gotta give yourself time to even meet somebody. Like, yo, you can't just be jumping out of a relationship. Back into it, right? People just be doing that all the time. Though I don't be respecting right. that. See, See what, that's my that's thing is. My thing is I can't be a serial dater because I don't like people that much. So once I find somebody that I like, I kind of like to be around them. Because for the most part, I don't like people. So when I find one, you got to stick with it. And if you like them, you stay around them for a while. If not, on to the next one. It is on to the next one is six to nine months later. Hey, it's a little, little, little fault maybe. Sometimes it'll just you know, no, stay but around. I, and I think that that's people how get better. long it takes to really get to know somebody. Yeah. yeah. You can you can make a, a quick move you know, within a month, and you made the wrong move. Exactly. But at least you know about it after you hit it. You be like, oh, this shouldn't even worth it no more. No, it's not. But it's more to the relationship <laughs> the than, than the sex part. That's only like twenty percent of the relationship. Wait, time out. No, nah, man, it's only twenty percent of the relationship. I don't know. Sex? Well, I don't know. I mean, just I don't know. In like in 20, Okay, like if you married. All right, pie chart. How much? How much time in, in a marriage are y'all okay. having sex versus? You know, eating, sleeping, fucking with the kids, going out. You know, what I mean, like if you put, if you put all the things on yeah. it, it's probably twenty percent. Maybe like a thirty-five percent chunk. Maybe thirty-five. Yeah, awesome. But it ain't Show fifty. Up. Nah, it can't uh, be. Not in marriage. Not a marriage. No. Great fun relationship, bro. I mean, because it's, because it's, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible yeah. because if you look at it, serious, you gotta be rich. long sex. You talking about ninety minutes? What's long average, sex, by the way? I said like 90 Never? minutes. That's long sex. That's way too long. Average, I would say average sex that's is competition right 30 there, minutes. Yes. I would say, I said as well. All right. Who's going to break first? <laughs> <laughs> sweat, I said average, sweat average break sex is probably 20, off and shit. 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, minutes is probably average. average. So what's the good? Uh, I can't 20 to 30 minutes. minutes. 20, that's a good one. 20 to 30 minutes. That's a good round. Right. 20 to 30 minutes. If you go out. 20 to 30 minutes. I want to have. You right? I ain't never go out with No, but I'm saying that's on the that's on the on the, you on know and a quickie quickie is like, you know, three minutes. So three, minutes, three five so, minutes, three five minutes, yeah. So if you if you average out, we saying that decent is a half an hour. It's twenty four hours in a day. How the hell is it over twenty so, percent? So is it the time? time? Is it the time? Is it the time? Or the amount? Is it the time or the pumps? Like oh, that's, no, that's like, the time. That's a good I mean, question. That's the same thing. Good question. Is you can stop pumping and get a grind session on. That could buy you about three, four minutes. Sure. Yeah. You okay. can think about something else, and that yeah. could buy you a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. Think about this However, beef. from start Ooh, to finish, five minutes. minutes. Okay. 30, 30 <laughs> minutes. You talking about thirty? You talking about thirty minutes? <laughs> Most of the time that you spend in a relationship, y'all are not having sex. You're doing other things like talking, walking somewhere, uh, getting uh, something to eat, uh, looking at TV, uh, thinking, you have listening to, write. to them. You yeah. have <laughs> Actually Listening to your problem. Yeah, but you yeah. gotta like you gotta <laughs> like this person. If all you like about them is sex, then it's only you call them, you having sex, and you leaving to be around somebody that you really like. It just sounds like right. a friend with benefits. Right. That's what I'm saying. But you gotta. It's not all relationships. You gotta anyway, get to know the person, or else if it's, it's just sex, ultimate you only around them for 20, 30 minutes, yeah, and the time to get there, leave, watch a little bit of TV, yeah, and then, then you leave it yes. because you don't want to be around them because you don't like them. Yeah, that sex shit, that should be crazy. I'm looking like I had, I had a time that I would have sex and I would call it the sitting at the edge of the bed. And I'm disgusting, <laughs> like, I didn't have to do that. With yourself? Yeah. And I was like, I didn't have to do that. That's because of your seven day theory. (laughs) (laughs) Catch a glimpse in the mirror and look away and shit like, oh. Why did I do that? Because it wasn't even like it was bad. It was just, 
it was just it did nothing for me. Like afterwards, like it was, it was the physical act was great, but I was just like like a vampire drinking I water. Do it that. Shit was nothing. Quench my thirst. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That's that's, that's a you either had to get married or you was going to end up like that nigga in Waterfalls in the TLC video. Like, something you had to change your life, nigga. That had to happen. <laughs> Seven day theory is going to get you the monster. I, t- <laughs> I told you. going to have a hotel in Vegas quick. Oh, <laughs> you oh, keep up your philandering ways. <laughs> I told that before. One time, I was so disgusted. I think like I was, like, I had to work that night. And it was like three, three in the morning. Like I went into the bathroom, set my alarm. It was like three. It was like three fifteen. Hey, uh, what aggressive ass night school is this? I was like, I need to check out of here. You all laying down and shit. I'm like, shit. And I'm just sitting there, just looking like I don't even want to again. So I said, all right. I go in the bathroom. Set my alarm for three fifteen. No, it was three fifteen already. Instead of for three twenty. Oh, I'm just, I'm just laying there. Just waiting. The alarm go off. She don't know what my ringtone is. So I pick up. I pick up. There's nobody there, so I'll you know, make sure there's no vibe there, so nobody actually. Yeah, no, I call it right. Do not. So I'm on the phone. I'm like, I'm like, like, yeah, what up? <laughs> Extra hours. <laughs> Time of the half. Time of the half. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> I got to go work. I'm looking like, hold up, mind you. She drove us there. So oh, she know I got no car. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, so they said, oh, I'm like, savage. Time so they said, time savage. Oh, so what time are you going to be here? <laughs> what time are you going to be here? 15 minutes? 10 minutes. Oh, you already on Oh, you ain't way. All right, man. All right, there we go. So she's looking now. She's looking at me like, she's like, what happened? I was like, yo. They call it for extra shifts. My shift is normally eight to six. And uh, I said, yo, you, you know how that go. You got to go for the money. She was like, oh, I don't shit. blame you. I put my damn khakis on. I put <laughs> so shirt on. She's like, it's like four in the morning. So I'm like this. She's like, walk to our car. I'm like, yo, you know, I said, yo. So, you know, you start to put the extra lines in it. Like, yo, you know how to let you spend the night. Oh, uh, yo. Yeah, spring a long <laughs> morning. Salsa and put all of that. Yeah. little salsa. So, uh. she drives all Put this. The great thing is, and this is what I have to do, too. She walks into the bathroom. I'm, as she's in the bathroom, I go through her phone, delete my number. <laughs> I <have> shit. <laughs> Count the buckets. Get out of here. Went to the oh, call log. Yo. Went to the call log. Incoming, outcoming. Delete, 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 delete. She was what? She probably had eighteen hundred or some shit. Uh, deleted it. I was like, yeah, just call me up tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just get off. my phone. You know, oh, it's already in there. Gosh. You know. She pulled off. Right back in the house. Go and free, just crashed. We ain't doing that. Say freedom. That's so sad. I, I actually know oh, that trick. Man. I been knew that trick when I was in college. Some dude oh, tried to do this thing so on me, great. in which I knew he did. He was like, he got his friend going, yo, call me in the next like 10, 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. I know he did that. I know he did. And we were just conversating, talking it up. When he knew I was trying to give him the next thing I know, he's on the phone. Hello? Oh my goodness, you know, my sister's in the hospital. I'm like, yo. Just <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> 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 Just like, so Wait I, for I it. did it two ways. I could have been that ratchet girl to been like, oh my goodness, I, I know what you're doing. Just get out of my house. Or I did what I did. I was just like, okay. Bye. Bye. Because I knew what he was trying to do. Next time I had another dude do it. It was like, oh yeah, my friend said he needs some help with his homework. I'm like, just get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Like, excuse, you can, you can help him over the phone. No, Nigga, this is a thing called Skype. Help with his homework. homework. You know I ain't about my books, baby. Yeah, right. Like, he ain't trying to loo- get, lose a semester. So right, 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 right. That's the me best excuse money. you can give me is oh, that your friend. Homework. That's what I knew. I was like, just get the fuck out of my get house. The, get the fuck out. He's like, what? I was like, I know what you're trying to do. Just get out of my house. You know you weren't even that good anyways. Oh, so now you got caught. Now you want to feel some type of way. Yeah, just right. get the fuck out of my house. You said he wasn't that good. You told he already hit it? No, he was like, you weren't even like, like that cool anyways. Oh, like, okay. And I'm just yeah, like, get the fuck out of my house. Just, yeah, that person. Just get the fuck out of my Yeah, that way. But yeah. <laughs> that way. Keep my amigo sprinkled in there. See, I don't be, nah, the, 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 the fake call, the fake call happens. But like, I do the fake call. Play like this. My thing is this, you can't not try your hand with a female because then y'all be thinking other shit like, oh, what are you, what's wrong with me? This, that, and the third. So I'm going to try. First off, 
I can't let you spend the night with me and nothing happens. You got to do something. Now, I ain't saying we got to have physical sex. You going to touch my dick. You going to at least see it. You got to at least give me something to, to work off. Like, nah, you know, this was the first time okay. she was chilling. Right. But if not, don't even think about going to sleep. It's going to be WrestleMania all night. It's like, it's all night. Like, nobody's getting sleep. I may uh, doze off for 15 minutes here. Take a break. I'm up. And right back at that. <laughs> That's all you looking up. You like this. You looking over. Trying to like get in. This. You wide awake like this. Like, Excuse me. I'm like, nah. WrestleMania. Come oh, this. Shit. Like this. I have no problem saying I've got You're loads of, me. I've got loads of pity sex. Pity sex. Like, Let me just go ahead and fuck this. No, I got pity sex. She's like, I'm like, she's like, just hurry up. Yeah. Like, okay. I did this shit two hours ago. You would have got a nice night's sleep. Ah. He's like, look, I don't care if it's pity sex. I'll take it. Pity sex is sex. Thank you very much. Thank like, you. you got to That one position. Huh? <sighs> All right. Whatever. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Hey, Diamond and Devin, if you want to join in Violet on this one. How do you know when you had a bad performance? What, like, what do you do? Uh, I can tell you how I, I know. Wait, when you, when you, go, bad you go ahead and say no. I know, I know when I've had a bad performance. <laughs> I'm going to let, let you know if you tell me I yours. Already, I, already, <laughs> I already talk a lot, but when I'm just rambling about shit that has nothing to do with nothing, I'm just looking like, after it's over, I'm like, shit, so. So, uh, what you get into tomorrow? Try to get you. Yeah, right? Right? What, happened? what you get into tomorrow? Then, then you start trying to talk about your life and shit like that to make yourself yeah, look, look better. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the type of guy, you know. Like, <laughs> and it's how you start off, but I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy. That's you know, what just, you, you know. Now, but here's my question. Is this is this a, a, a first-time person or is this a, a part that you've had? Okay. Okay, so. I don't know how you get down. So that, yeah. Well, let me, let me say this. All first encounters are awkward because you don't know. You don't know each other. Uh, now, I'm not saying that they're no, bad. I'm saying know. that they're awkward. They're awkward because you don't know. She may not like her leg this way. She may like this or that. Or just different stuff that comes with repetition. You don't know the first time. So it's just it's just like walking in a room where you don't know people. It's just like getting to know them versus two months later where you know everybody you just come in the room different it's, just, it's like that but at the very same thing you're a DJ sure you know when you go in and you did your thing I, I know when I had a good set and a bad set and yes. you know yeah you know okay that's yeah you know oh, you flip the whole yeah. table over okay uh, so that, that fucked you up <laughs> yeah, yeah that's <laughs> true okay so what do you do well I mean I, I've mixed and then yeah. messed up and, right. and like the blend was off and it's like oh, did, but you got back. I do right. is I look. You hear that one person? I look and see. I've been there. I've been there. I definitely been there. And I've looked up. So and then he right there next to you. <laughs> right, and then you just you just kind of look straight ahead. And, and, uh, Folks, begging. something on the wall, far across the room. Yeah. So, but if I've had a bad performance with a first time person, uh -huh. yeah, I guess like, like you say you just come up with some you know random excuse, usually about being tired. Or, you know what I mean? You know, I just immediately start talking about the next time. Like, next time I got you. Next time I'm, nah, well, I'm, nah. I'm going to get you next time. What, makes, what, what you won constitutes this round. a bad performance, though? What quickness. constitutes a bad performance? Quickness? My yeah, my quickness. My worst no confidence in what you did. I've done it like three times in like 12 minutes. Jesus Christ. That's, I was like, well, is that bad or good? I don't know. It was terrible because of, after the first one, I you said, get I, away from I me. Short. Three I times? I, Three times. In and 12 I, I think that I think that would be is actually a good performance for her. I think I think two is 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 pretty good, but three is in twelve minutes. Like how old were you? Were you, were you under were you, eighteen? Like twenty-two. Were you on something? No. <laughs> no. How was, was your recovery? How was your recovery so quick? Hey, that's <laughs> All I'm thinking is, all I'm thinking is, I'm looking like, all right, bet first time, whatever. You can't, you can't flush it. So she had, so she had cocaine in there, so some coke. Yeah, some coke. She had yeah, cracking that. After that, so, so I go to back the white ball, I get right back up. Okay. And then I'm like, okay, my mind, I'm like, oh yeah. So she had, like, so she did, so she, she hadn't climaxed. Hell no. Oh, clearly. Just like okay. that. Well, that's, what, that's what made it bad. That oh, sex guard. I mean, you can't guard. flush a toilet yeah. three times in 12 minutes. Because yeah, yeah. the, 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 the thing has to fill that back up. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. She that's going to porn after that? Times, and I never forgot it. And I think so because, did she ever come? 
Oh no, after I'm saying not that day. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, okay. You had to yeah, she, she took her soul. She, yeah. she came over and <laughs> snatched her soul out of his chest and walked off like a fucking and boss. Just, <laughs> what the you want to some crazy shit? We, we just heard it. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I got to the second time is I, I clearly shouldn't have like that is because. She just thought I was ridiculously funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? That kind of saved me. Aha! Uh-huh. I should say, man. Aha! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, Smooth that shit over. Yeah. Like, let me tell you, like, that was it. Like, so, what was round two like, or day I mean, two like, 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 day two? Oh, no, I was good then. Like, I blank was man. Good. No, no, eh, it, was, it was a eh. full week. I was good then. So, what, was it that you really wanted her really, really bad and you just got too excited? I ain't going front. It was one of those no. really, really bad joints. Those like could be that. the worst. And, mm-hmm. point is, it's not even just about how beautiful or how good looking the chick is, but. It was harsh at that time, too. Like I said, you know, you could be active at a certain time, whatever. But we talk about once you reach your stride. To me, this is what I call fellas hitting their stride. When you can have sex anytime you want to have it, as opposed to any time before that. That's it, like, that shit just fell in your life. Sure. You see what sure, I'm saying? Sure, so sure. You and you don't know when it's going, a, exactly. a, a lap faller will happen. Exactly. Right. Again. Uh, ah, when shit. you start turning it down, like, nah, I'm good. I ain't fucking with this shit tonight. So I was kind of getting in that pocket, but it was still kind of like, at the time where you you know you always about dimes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the pussy on the pedestal. Like, That's yeah, basically what's going on here. Yeah, like, it was on the pedestal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in the club that night, like it was like everybody was on her face. Oh, she had the glow. She had the glow that night. She had the glow. She had the She couldn't hear your jokes over the music. Yeah, right. Who was it? But I'm saying, like you know, she saw she saw my she whatever that we was talking. Oh, it was a swag. It's out in DC. Okay. DC girls are easy. She's probably she's probably from DC girls are easy. She's probably from Virginia. She's probably DC girls are easier. I don't know. The easiest girls I've ever met was all from DC. Wow. Do you realize this is Baltimore yes, have a vehicle? And I said, that's all you have to have. In sometimes, DC, wait, all you have to have is a pulse. Sometimes you don't have that. In DC, you just need a pulse. You know, we pulse. call Baltimore. <laughs> we call Baltimore. Mass Transit take you a lot of places in DC. Home of the stragglers. Yeah. stragglers. Wait a they're goddamn not, minute. They're not called stragglers. We call them nomads. <laughs> <laughs> Couch service. Not no, yeah, yeah, right. no man. Look, man, we used to have no man's cup. Whenever, like, you know, I had the frat house thing going on, and it's just like, he's like, yo, he's like, I got no man. It's like, <laughs> like a no man is just like, like a girl who wants to come over mm-hmm. and don't leave. Mm-hmm. And just continuously, it's just like, you know what I mean? It's just, you just want her to leave. But yeah, she just, just she won't leave. And she want to come back the next day. Like, no, and the next day. Yeah. And the next day. Like, go home. Like, I Don't you have a home? Are you too good for I your home? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I thought it was funny at the end of Jay Z video, and he was like, "Yo, you'll feel more comfortable in your own bed." I promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Comfortable. But you about to wrap this joint up, yeah, man. and I'm glad we got Violet on the team. You did a good Violet, job. you're turning you Violet. Violet, good job. You got to right. Violet up. You did a good job. You did a good job. You did a good job. <laughs> she said it. I appreciate that shit. You just couldn't let him just wrap the shit up. Yeah, yeah, right. Just couldn't let him wrap the shit up. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it later. Shout out to my man, Get Ricky, Ro- my man Rick, Ricky Rose. Shout me out tonight. We had a good time. Yo, I appreciate you being there. I expect, I expect great things to continue to go on. Yep. So, you know, we'll be talking. Diamond held down as usual. I got to give a shout out again to our little brother, Devin Epps. Did your thing tonight. You Thank must you, feel man. good about something, cause that's the only time you start to get all them jokes when you feel good. So something else must have happened. Uh, it's it's a Jay Z album, four forty four. So yeah, you know, yeah. You know, you I'm, really, I'm really excited about that. Um, Blues, I got blue on three tracks. It's crazy. Oh my God. This nigga right here. Hooks. You know she got her own songs and all that. Shit. Word. Yeah. She gonna have her own songs. So come on, man. It's your boss, yeah, baby, right there. I'm about to say, he said, 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 he said
was doing their thing. So appreciate, appreciate you. that. Cause I damn sure was like, damn, we ain't speak for them the whole week. I said, oh, we definitely got a host. He's like, how you know? Hey, real shit. Say nothing. Yeah, because you know I mean, <laughs> I mean, to the point, uh, no, like, no, no, no. real shit. I usually don't get here before niece, and I got here before niece, and she was sitting here and shit, and I was like, well, must be another show going on. Let me sit over here and get out the way. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I was like, shit. Yeah, I said, well, let me yeah. let me sit the fuck over here until she finished. Oh, okay. <laughs> she was prepared. <laughs> yeah. So, yep, we're going to get up out of here. Beautiful eyes, love you, truth. Tune in next Monday, 9.30, so whatever the hell we get. Yeah, whatever we finish, man. Yeah, that's that's that. That. Do what we want around here.